jump cuts, what they are, and how to use them. That and more in today's episode. Jump cuts are a film technique, usually indicative of kind of a lazy editor or kind of a rushed job. However, on YouTube, it can be a way to maintain your audience's attention, indicate that time has passed since the last time you were in front of the camera, demonstrate a change in space, Prove a point, slip in footage that you filmed on a separate day and hope that no one notices. Totally demonstrate a conversation between two people. That's awesome, it's like we're finishing each other's sandwiches. Usually here on YouTube, you don't have a whole lot of time to keep people entertained. You don't want them to leave your video because you want them to stick around, identify with you, and of course, raise your watch time. So uh, you can use a jump cut to replace all of those, um, uh, well, oh, moments that sometimes happen when you're either vlogging or just yeah, you know, doing whatever. I should cut this out. I'm gonna leave it. In normal media, jump cuts are used as a way to convey kind of a jarring reality. The fact that the, the video that they're watching is not reality or that it, it is in fact reality within non-reality within Inception. As I mentioned before, jump cuts can be used to indicate to the audience that some time has passed. Sometimes this time is more than other times. Like for instance, in 1992, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, this was used when the film opened in 1912 with a 13 year old Indiana Jones. And then later on it cut to him as an adult. So there's that. You would think that this kind of thing only applies to vloggers, but to be honest with you, it also applies to gamers. For instance, if you have a few moments during your gameplay that aren't necessarily the most interesting, you can utilize a jump cut or a jump cut type transition to a more interesting moment to keep their attention. So for instance, uh, let's say I'm playing Minecraft and I know that I'm on a boat and I'm doing some really boring stuff. Of course, I can cut too as soon as we're done on the boat but I can also use a jump cut as a transition for a funny moment from previously in my series where maybe I fell off of a cliff, got blown up by a creeper, or whatever the case is, uh, as an illustrative way to let people know that time has passed between those two cuts. Some people take it to the extreme, which can be very jarring and annoying for some people. So please try not to do this, try not to jar the audience too much, because jump cuts are supposed to make your job easier and troll comments don't really help that. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. If it has, let us know by telling us in the comment section down below. Also, if you've ever used jump cuts, let us know. Now don't just tell us, I want you to link the video in the comment section down below and I want you to explain to us what you are trying to accomplish or what the video is about. This is a great feature here with Google Plus and all that. This is pretty much the spiritual successor to... Wow! What was what it? I can't think. Um, comment. Uh, do, 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 do. Video replies. It replies. So do us all a favor. Let us know. Till next time, I'm Anthony with School. Like, subscribe, comments please. Did you know that there was a secret plot to overthrow the teddy bear? That and more in today's episode. Collaboration videos on YouTube can help you grow. That and more in today's episode. Click here to see the bloopers from this video and see why I used jump cuts. Yeah.